Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Democracy Free Africa as South Africa where our GDP is rising, our election were basically guaranteed, our income has thankfully gone back up but that's because the GDP was bouncing back previously and uh, global GDP is actually going up as well. So despite this long ass recession it was only like when people started coming back out of it that we noticed much of an effect. Our relative GDP is actually still going up. Most of our money is from income tax. Honestly, the 50 from corporate tax I could almost cut out completely. <laughs> and not have this. But it's popular with voters. Leave it for now. I want to see where it sort of ticks to naturally. Oh, for God's sake. Hopefully that ticks down and we get rid of that soon. Hurting our GDP. You are still slowly going down. Hopefully the intelligence services is enough because I don't know how else to deal with that. Apart from that, what is our major problem? I would like to make some more money. Build up a larger reserve. Reserve being minus, does that represent a debt? But income. Right, aren't we meant to get... Money from our reserve. Like the opposite of debt. <laughs> that is going to do brilliance for our GDP though and foreign investment urban and it kills the unemployed it only does good and we can afford it so when our entire health service our state schools and health service could almost be paid for that like state pensions kills poverty is po poverty dead Not quite. I could do a little bit to kill that. Crime stayed really low. Unemployment is thankfully going down. GDP is going back up. We've got 51 though. We could do some major things. What are you? Consumer rights. Agro dealers, yeah, you've been good. Labor laws, pollution control. I think what we can do. Political power distribution. Separation of powers is a model of governments The executive branch of the government and the executive executives and enforce the law is written by a legislative branch. The yep, yeah, fine with me. They're the people I like that we have lots of, and uh, it'll make them like me. Unemployment slumped the way down. Crime is still pinned. Poverty is basically constant. GDP didn't really change. We have an even larger surplus. Safeguard oil supplies. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, where's the environment? Pinned good. Stability, pinned. Dictatorship is pinned to the bottom. I 
Education is maxed. There's no crime. There's no corruption. There's no violent crime. Infrastructure is maxed out. Air travel. I don't know if I'd want to max that out. Traffic congestion, there is none. Oil price, oh, it fluctuates. Urbanization is quite high. Oil demand is going up. That's because I didn't secure the supply. Oil supply is slowly going down. Bush usage is rather constant. Economy type is maxed, whatever that means. It means we don't have mineral wealth anymore. But we do. We're just keeping it slightly high enough so it doesn't hit the stop trigger. But all mineral wealth does is basically nothing. <laughs> I'd almost not want it there. Agriculture efficiency is maxed out. Middle earnings. Energy efficiency maxed. Currency strength. Almost basically completely based on our GDP. CO2. Actually rising again. I guess mainly due to the GDP. Legal drugs, drugs consumption isn't a problem. Tobacco usage. Nature conserves, we have them maxed out. Food stamps maxed out. Child labor is illegal. Disability benefit is maxed. Basically, because we don't have much at the moment, I can max out unemployment benefit. Because we don't have much unemployment, but uh, as soon as there is, then we'd be screwed. Population growth is slowing. Human development is now maxed out. Gender inequality, there is none. House prices are stupidly low. <laughs> Everyone has a good house. Pensions. That's private pensions. High estate pensions. Next turn. I've got a load of petrol tax. Basically, no petrol tax means no change on any of this. We gain 66 billion, ah, oh, 3 billion, some money that I'm going to need. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that. GDP's down because of it. Yeah, it has to be killed. Do I still have a surplus? I do. Petrol tax outright cancel. Still have a reserve. We're running... Oh no, we're running a slight deficit now. But the GDP should hope... Uh, no, this turn it's going to look even worse. Darwin's legacy. Religion has gone. Rail strikes has ended. And... Stupidly large deficit, but that's because of how the GDP was last time. We're going to eat basically out of our entire reserve. You're gone. I really didn't need to cut you that much. 
but I knew it would be an instant effect by doing it. Fifty-five. Sales tax increases poverty. And the sales tax. We have a high income tax. Petrol protest has ended, so GDP has shot back up. Hopefully that will fix things. Unemployment is down, but still not pinned down. Retail merger. No, don't let it. No, not please, please. Huge ass budget deficit. And we are running into a bit of debt, but I do think I've got more political power than I know what to do with. But that I think once the economy bounces back, we will be... It basically costs no money, so let's get human rights oversight. Conservatives don't like it. Increase democracy, increase liberals. Let's align ourselves to a block. Liberals and patriots both hate it. Foreign relations, foreign aid goes up. Conservatives like it. That's not what I thought it was. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be removing that in the next episode. I thought that was creating a stronger AU, um, African Union. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Democracy Free. Where how much do we gain? 31. We've got room for everything. Okay. Next turn, and then we're going to unalign with that foreign power. A market meltdown. Oh, no. Despite the market meltdown, we should be doing okay. We should actually have noticed a surplus. A smaller deficit. Okay. That was with maxed out uh, GDP last time as well. Alright, foreign policy alignment. Cancel you. <laughs> you weren't what I thought you were. Re ah, no, that was it. That's what I thought. But basically, I'm going to have to let another turn pass. I've got political power, but not enough. Oh, election results! Damn it, I'm not going to be able to deal with what I wanted to deal with! <laughs> Although my original age of eradicating... Less than 1% of the voter didn't turn out, and everybody voted for me. Oh, come on, surely I should get stats? Right, on sale now. On sale. I have these. Oh, you guys won't be able to see. They not apply to Africa? Is is in a, is an expand alone? Ah, I don't know. Can I get back into the game, please? There we go. Uh, both elections. Very liberal, very socialist. Yep. <laughs> I, I am a capitalist, by the way, in general. It's just the stuff the government do should be socialist.
I wanted to see the stuff from the last game, but okay. I guess I'm going to tack this on the end of the last episode. I didn't realise that's how close we were to the end. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I've enjoyed playing the game, so let me know if you'd like... Let me know if you'd like to see more, and... Um... Sorry, my head's uh, a blanking a bit. I'm trying very hard not to cough. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see any more from the specifically the Africa. Um, quickly just flick through the other nations if there's any of them that you particularly would like to see. Let me know, or if you'd like to see something from back from the original game. Yeah, you know, Democracy Free, I say original game, not Democracy. Democracy Free you know, one of the nations in there, or if you know of any mods for the game that you'd like to see me play, or if you'd like to see me play a different game. Either way, let me know in the comments. And ladies and gentlemen, if somebody expresses an opinion different from your own, like, feel free to downvote it. Anyone who gets their votes, uh, their separate opinions downvoted, don't feel bad. It's just so I can see, you know, what the general population likes. And, um... Don't... But don't feel that you shouldn't post something if you think people are going to downvote it. Because I, I, I like to know. I like to know what you guys are thinking. I find it very hard to guess sometimes. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.